All right, go ahead, take your shot. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Afro, and today I'm really excited to get back into some more expanse. Now, I know there were many of you who were a little uh, unhappy with my last reaction. It wasn't as probably boisterous or excited as you probably were wanting or thinking it was going to be. And uh, I, I don't really want to come up with an excuse for why that was. Um, you know, my reaction is what it was. Uh, but I do think uh, an explanation of why it might have been that way <laughs> is needed. So um, I did really much enjoy those two episodes. Uh, the problem, I think, is sometimes I, f I, I feel like I need to record stuff just to record it and, and get it up to you guys because I feel bad when I miss an upload date or, or if I don't have enough time to get stuff out and I, I have to do it when I maybe I'm not feeling in the mood to record. And I feel like that day I was probably, I really wanted to watch it, but I didn't want to have to go through the motions of recording and editing and, and all that stuff because you know doing reaction content is actually very very tiring and, and uh, time consuming um, I do enjoy doing it for you guys uh, I just feel like that day I might have just been in a uh, not a bad mood but more of a just kind of meh mood and so my reaction probably wasn't uh, you know up to what they usually are in the other reactions so uh, you know I apologize if for, for that, and I think going forward, I, I'm going to make sure that I'm in the right headspace when I do recordings, just to, to give you guys the best content out there and to, to make sure I'm right in the right headspace. Um, to the episodes themselves, you know, I really enjoyed that, the fourth episode. And episode five, I think what disappointed me most was probably just, you know, seeing Miller leave the show, basically. He was my favorite character, and, you know, you guys are saying that there's a lot more new characters and, and craziness that's going to happen and I'm really excited to get into that but I just I he was probably the one character that was holding me on to the show and while I like Naomi and, and some of the other characters uh I have a hot take and that hot take is I don't like Holden <laughs> and I know you guys might hate me for it but right now I just am not interested in this character I think he's a punk he just you know his character doesn't intrigue or interest me Whereas other characters like Alex and Naomi and, and the rest of the Rocinante crew, I actually want to see stories about them and, and, you know, learn about them more than, than Holden. But, you know, he's kind of the lead now, technically. And so that's, I think, another reason why I was maybe a little meh uh, in that reaction is just because, you know, I, I was under the realization like, oh, now the Miller's gone, it's just Holden. And so uh, obviously it's not just Holden, you know, I got, I got to keep that in my mind. We've got all these new characters. We've got the new Martian character coming as well. I'm excited to see her story. So yeah, uh, coming into these reactions, renewed vigor, renewed interest. We're going to get going. Hopefully I'll become a screaming fire hawk by the end of the season. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you join me along with this journey. So if you are new, if you haven't seen any of the reactions and you're just joining in this one randomly, thanks for joining. Please make sure to like and subscribe the video. Uh, a lot of people still aren't subscribed. I'm trying to reach that 1K so I can get that community tab. So make sure to hit that subscribe button really really helps out the channel i can't stress that enough uh but yeah let's jump into episode six we're gonna get into new beginnings here after technically the end of book one so i'm really excited let's jump into it okay starting with the martian republic here okay United it's been a colony for a long time and it was 137 years ago okay i was a fusion drive engineer my wife kate it, all good that, martians do is that what's his name oh why can't i remember his name around uh, with instead uh, i wasn't expecting much maybe four percent better tops and i was taking it out for a test run Commend sam huntington yes yes i remember him uh he was in that show uh, about the ghost and the werewolf and the vampire. I really enjoyed, you know, I really liked that show. Check. Before it got canceled. Okay. Let's see what you can do. Uh, history about what? My name's Solomon Epstein. 
Oh. Changed everything. Oh, so he, okay, so he's Epstein, the creator of the drive. A massive relativistic field generator, or- Or some other bunch of science words you string together. So they're trying to say that it's a Martian plot still. Where are we on the impact site mission? We commandeered a civilian survey vessel. Who's this new guy? This doctor. If there's anything left of Eros down there, we'll find it. We'll be on our way to Venus in a week. Oh, they're going to Venus. Okay. Let's hope there's not any protomolecule left. So I don't know what you've heard or if you're even going to get this. The UN will be monitoring. Oh, he's calling his mommy. How come you don't say love you, mom and mom and dad? <laughs> Yeah, what Naomi said. You still want to destroy our sample? Yeah. Now more than ever. Better safe than sorry, I guess. I wonder if he knew that his trip to Eros would be one way. I mean, probably not. Whether you like it or not, you are the captain of this ship. Yeah, so man up, Holden. That Naomi and I are together, sleeping together. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh, nice. Like they had a bet going. Awesome yeah. bet, man. Give me that arm. Dude, I can't believe I agreed to this. All right, go ahead. Take a shot. <laughs> Wet willy. She's a good person and I like her, but she's like a sister to me. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd do her if she let me. <laughs> I'm glad we had this talk. <laughs> oh, I love Amos. He's, he's, he's probably my new favorite character. Long after all the others aborted. But where are they now? That's the million dollar question. Did Fred Johnson steal some nukes? Okay, so it looks like they went to a giant net that got that somebody uh, took took them. It was getting harder for me to breathe or talk. Shut down, me. Dry. You turned off the voice controls. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that was bad enough. Ugh. Just like the show, leave us, leave us uh, with the unanswered question of did he die? Which Mars believes was unleashed by us, which we did not. Did we? We did not. Hmm, technically you did. Yet fully understand. For Eros moving. I believe Eros was in- Look at Mr. Hypothetical Smarty Pants over here. It's three pages long, and it begins with Step one, find God. <laughs> I knew it was going to be something like give up or, you know, prepare to die or something. With his final word, he said to me, you uh -oh. are the future, Diogo. Uh-oh, Miller has become a martyr. They filed a lawsuit over the Nauvoo against the Tyco Corporation and myself. Basically, I'm in some deep shit. I mean, we knew it was going to happen. And sent right back at the inners. Or anyone else in the system for that matter. He, he already knows because he's the one who took them. That would cause system-wide panic. Until we get more information, we need to keep this under wraps. I mean, I actually agree with Holden. Is there, secrets are no good. Mila? Do this for you. <laughs> He's gonna get laid. I know you were out there flying. Just on pure instinct. No time to think. Because if you think. Alex is uh, playing himself a few ladies. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Hold on there, partner. Whoa. Hey. Better back off and settle down, you hear? <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Jesus Christ, Amos! Ooh. 
Okay. Yeah, I got a flop next door. Next door's a brothel. Yeah. <laughs> well, I understand paranoia is a natural state of mind for a soldier. <laughs> It's a beautiful dream, son, and I hope I'm around to see it come true. Yep, yeah, beautiful dream. Politics is always going to be a thing. You have to pick a side. What he's really saying is, in order to survive, you have to pick my side. My last chance. Uh, that stinks. Wow, they set him up with uh, his own little uh, science station, huh? I want people to know about Miller. He was a good man. He was a pain in the ass, suicidal ex-cop. I mean, they're both right. Here's another option. We can give our sample to Mars. What? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh, okay. We broke Dresden Station down to the bolts. Nothing was there. And arrows burned up in Venus. We are this close. Did Eros burn up in Venus, though? It's done. Yeah. It's done. Is it, though? Is it done? I don't know. I knew it. I knew Naomi was going to do something. It changes everything. Dang it. I was really hoping I'd get to see more of Sam Huntington. Hey, we're finally back with our uh, Martian friends. We need to know what he knows. You should convince him to come in from the cold. How am I supposed to do that? Yeah, good luck convincing Mao to come in. And please let them know that if they can't, I will rain hellfire down on them all. Ooh, she's ready to do some stuff. I'm always looking for some fat private sectors pay off down the road but i'm not looking is, is that a is that a play on him that, that fat payment from the private sector it makes me smile every time i walk past it that's because you are an ignorant asshole 17 martians died in that attack yikes I fight my own battles that was a really good interaction i enjoyed that discharging the gyros first a lot of missiles countermeasures trickle back up power from the guidance system. So Naomi's gonna help? Okay. Do not linger on the border. This is segment one, understood. I have a feeling something's gonna happen during this blackout part. About 2.3 clicks out on foot closing fast. They appear to be charging us. <laughs> oh, oh my. Communication's down. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Looks like they're shooting at something that's chasing them. Oh, oh, oh my, oh, he did. Uh, looks like uh, you know, at least one of them is gone. She's still alive. No, oh, she's leaking air though. Uh, what? Wh what? What? Okay, well that episode definitely was crazy. Uh. I really enjoyed all the backstory about Epstein. Sad that uh, Sam Huntington's character is technically like 137 years in the past, probably died, and we won't get to see him anymore. Maybe we'll get some more information in the next episode about him, but uh, really enjoyed seeing his character and, and just kind of learning more about, about that and uh, to that ending. Wow. Uh, so I guess maybe some of the proto-molecule humans survived maybe or is this some kind of new threat 
I don't know. I'm intrigued. I'm ready to find out more. We have the the Martian captain uh, about to die, maybe. Who knows? Uh, I'm sure we'll find out later. Um, yeah, that was cool. We have Naomi hiding the protomolecule, uh, the rest of the what they had. So that's probably going to come back and bite her in the butt. Uh, really, really just this whole episode, Christian, you know, calling out her superior and saying she's going to ruin the Mao family, loved, loved all that. So yeah, uh, really, really, really enjoyed this episode. Uh, definitely is, uh, getting me hype for the rest of it. I know some, some of the comments were saying that it just gets crazier and crazier down the line and, and I can, I can see that. So, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to watching the next episode. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments down below. Did I miss anything that I should have paid attention to? Uh, yeah, looking forward to this next one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you with the next reaction.